I am Anil Kumar. Let me thank all the members of our WhatsApp group, The Free Math Solutions, for participating actively. Many of us are posting brilliant questions from all over the world, and we have a team of very brilliant people providing solutions. Many of them are from IITs. For example, here is a brilliant question posted and then the solution of the same is being provided by IIT Madras graduate, right? And the whole idea here is to share with all of you uh, some more related questions so that you can master the, the expertise of solving similar questions in test problems, right? So we have two related questions here on our YouTube. And in YouTube, we have more than 10,000 videos on these topics. So the idea here is to join the group. And once you join the group, you learn techniques of uh, providing uh, beautiful solutions and also do them in few minutes as is required for multiple choice. Let me summarize here the solution of this particular question. So the question here is, Chords AB and CD of a circle intersect at E and are perpendicular to each other. Segments AE, EB and ED are lengths 2 cm, 6 cm and 3 cm respectively. Then the length of the diameter of the circle is what? Right. So that is what you need to figure out. Now to solve this question, you need to know two concepts. One, we call a chord segment theorem. Let me sketch a circle, label, and then we'll talk about uh, the formulas, right? So let's say we have a circle like this, and uh, we have two chords. Just because in this question, we have perpendicular chords, so I'll actually draw perpendicular chords, right? But normally, for a chord segment theorem, they may not be perpendicular. Let's be very clear about it. So these chords may not be perpendicular for chord segment theorem, right? So, so let me say any chords. Okay. Now, if I have a chord, which is like AB, and CD as said in the question and if we have a point where they meet at E let's say this is the point E uh, in that case the chord segment theorem says that the product AE A to E times E to B should be equal to CE times ED. Simple as that. Now proof for this, I'll send you, I'll provide you a link so that you understand the proof and many related questions which have been appearing on similar base. Right. So that is one thing which you should know. Second thing which you should know is the relation between radius and chord segments. Now that relation between radius and chord segments only is valid for perpendicular chords. As is given in this particular example, right? So this relation, which I'll provide you with the formula, is only valid for perpendicular chords. And it is that four times radius square will be equal to some of the squares of each segment. That is to say, AE square plus EB square lengths, you mean, right? CE square plus ED square. Perfect. So these are the two formulas which are widely used, very standard, and you are expected to apply these formulas when you answer such multiple choice questions in your test paper. Perfect. Now let's go through this and understand what is given. A, B, and C, D, the chords A, B, and C, D of a circle intersect at E 
and are perpendicular to each other, right? So we can apply this formula also. Segments A, E, B, and E, D are 2 centimeters. So A, E is 2 centimeters. Let's use another ink. Okay. So this is 2 centimeters. I'm not writing centimeters here. 6 centimeters is E to B. And E to D is 3 centimeters. Right? Then the length of the diameter is what? So 2 times the radius we have to find, right? So, so the diameter will be equal to 2 times the radius. This is what we have to find, right? That is the equation, correct? Now see how easily you can do it. So first thing from the given information, let us find what C to E is, right? So we say C to E should be equal to what? Product of these two, which is AE times EB divided by this side, which is ED, right? So it is 2 times 6 divided by 3, which is 4. So this is 4, correct? Or you can say now, product of 4 and 3 is 12. 6 and 2 is also 12, correct? So CE is 4, right? Now let's substitute this value here and find the value of radius. So we say 4 times radius square, we need to find diameter, is AE, which is 2 square plus 6 square plus now 4 square plus 3 square, correct? Which is 4 plus 36 plus 16 plus 9. So if you add them all, 9 and 6, 15, 21, 25, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We get 65. So R will be 65 over 4 square root. Right? So, so R will be equal to 65 over 4 square root. Now, square root of 4 is 2. Right? So we get square root of 65 over 2. So that becomes the radius. Then find the length of the diameter. So what is diameter? Diameter is 2 times radius, right? So the diameter will be 2R, so which will be 2 times square root of 65 divided by 2. So that gives you 65 square root as your answer. So option A is the right option. Is that clear to you? So that is how we can find the solution of such questions in less than a minute also, right? So almost a minute. So basically, first you find the given missing side of the chord segment just by product 6 times 2, 12 divided by 3, which is 4. Then you add the squares of these divided by 4 square root to get your answer. For the radius, since it is diameter, since it is length of the diameter, you have to multiply this radius by 2, right? So when you multiply by 2, you get square root of 65 as your answer. It does make sense to you. So that is how we can really help you and solve free. So I'll provide you with the link of our WhatsApp group where a team of members is working hard to provide you with the best solutions. Feel free to join it. And if you like and subscribe to our videos on YouTube, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.